Greetings, friends around the world. My name is Alexander Sashavelic for the Bible News Prophecies Program. Welcome, and today let us pay attention to the fact that there is a connection between the cashless society and number 666 that we find in the Bible. In fact, we continue to see steps toward cashlessness and 666 in many parts of the world, particularly in Europe. And here is a report related to Belgium and some other parts of Europe. In July 7th, 2022, it was published, Cash Ban, Belgium Obliges All Shops to Accept Cards. Corona as a springboard for a digital, digitized word, world, hardly in any other area was this as obvious at the beginning of the pandemic as with cash. In the fear of supposed killer virus, people were told that banknotes were contaminated. In some cases, shops instructed their customers to pay by card and anticipatory obedience. Now, in Belgium, shops must offer cash alternatives, because actually most Belgians are of the opinion that cash is king. Three quarters of them strictly reject the cash plan. But the government has not backed down at all. Supposedly to prevent fraud, every corner shop and chip shop must now provide a cashless payment alternative. In the capital, Brussels in particular, there are numerous shops that only accept card payments anyway. But another draft law, which also wants to make it mandatory to accept cash, is on hold, probably because the notion is so unpopular. The official argument goes that the fight against fraud and money laundering is always the same thing. In this way, Italy, for example, already limited the upper limit of cash payments to 1,000 euros. A few years ago, in Greece, there was even talk of a threshold of 70 euros. But in times of skyrocketing inflation, the continuation of such plans would not make sense. Officially, no one wants a ban on cash, but in reality... That may be the plan. It is a psychological trick that one communication expert, Dr. Brown, explained in an interview with AUF1. He said, quote, I'll bring in the scenario that I want to implement later, but for the moment I'm still distancing myself from it, end of the quote. In this way, a concept enters people's world of thoughts and feelings that is no longer unknown territory when it comes to their implementation. For example, if people are not to imagine a pink elephant walking across a green desert right now, that is exactly what they would imagine. <laughs> the assurances that a cash ban is not planned are probably a case of pre-teaching, Brown argued. Now we have social credit system via central bank digital account. So the similar, the situation is similar with the digital euro, which the European Central Bank, ECB, has been promoting. Its boss, Christine Lagarde, is also a board member of the World Economic Forum, WEF. At its summit in May, the planned central bank digital money was a big topic. The mantra is always the same. The digital euro is supposed to only supplement cash. But the example of Sweden is enough to understand that the ban could also be used to raise customer awareness. Cash is a rare site in the Nordic country and it will be abolished entirely next year. Controlling the likes of subjects could take on far more terrifying traits. For example, a former Danish minister of, for the environment had dreamed of a life which one had no car, no house, no appliances and no clothes. A world where you can't go anywhere without being registered. And the lecture by a Finnish activist made it into the smart city charter of the German Ministry of the Environment in 2017. He spoke of a future where data could complement or replace money as a currency. Now, notice the following from Jim Reichardt, who wrote, Welcome to 1980 
4. And he says, I've been addressing the war on cash lately, and for good reason. While everyone's attention is focused on the war in Ukraine, inflation and the Supreme Court government plans to eliminate cash are accelerating. For example, central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, are coming even faster than many anticipated. Europe is testing the digital euro under the auspices of the European Central Bank. The US was lagging, but is catching up fast. The CBDCs are digital in form, are recorded on a ledger maintained by a central bank of finance ministry and the message traffic is encrypted. Still, the resemblance to cryptos ends there. The CBDC ledgers do not use blockchain and CBDCs definitely do not embrace the decentralized issuance model hailed by the crypto crowd. CBDCs will be highly centralized and tightly controlled by central banks. So CBDCs continue this intermi intermediate the, the entire banking and credit card sectors to a great extent. Now the original difference is that it will give the government control of your money and the ability to put you under constant surveillance. In a world of CBDCs, the government will know every produce you purchase you make, every transaction you, you conduct, and even your physical whereabouts at the point of purchase. The end game for CBDCs would closely resemble George Orwell's dystopian novel 19th century. Sorry, 1984. So, it's 1984, the title of the book. It would be a world of negative interest rates, forced tax collection, government confiscation, account freezes, and other constant surveillance. Well, the reality is that there are many problems with the going completely digital. Consider also that anything that can be placed in an account electronically can be removed electri electronically. Well, notice there is a following from three years ago by Captain William E. Simpson of westernjournalism.com. Is the tyranny of a cashless society coming, asked this author. Well, looking to a future in which governments abolish cash in useful de denominations, it follows that they will then focus on eliminating personal and commercial commerce through the use of compact, high-value commodities such as gold and silver, a natural progression of $100 bills are taken out of circulation in the United States. You see, the relatively few people who may ultimately control all of the digital wealth of Americans, they will virtually have control of all the people in a cashless society. This results in a definite loss of freedom and liberty. Digital currency transactions in lieu of cash would allow virtually 100% tracking of all Americans, including law-abiding uh, citizens and all that we do. Now, if the minds behind a cashless society are allowed to have their way, America would become little more a monumental ant farm where the elitist, you know, clash studies Americans are to a much greater rather than extended extent than ever before. How we move around and what we do, what we eat, what, what, what we watch and listen to, and then it uses this deeply insightful personal information potentially to plot how to control everyone. Yes, indeed. Things like if we are allowed to be born, abortions already control this to some extent, how long we will get to live, and what we are allowed to do in, in between. Orwellian, yes, but possible nonetheless. 
even as much as many Americans admire and respect President Donald Trump, who used to be the American president and is now in between, he's incumbent now in between elections, well, the Marxist socialist momentum that had already metastized in America might be too much for him. Well, that's what he said and his team to overcome. Pray for the best, but adequately prepare for the, for the worst. Now, a year ago, the Canadian Church of God wrote that we did not believe that the USA could go totally cashless in the first term of Donald Trump presidency. And then that has been the case. The Canadian Church of God has made various prophetic predictions that, predictions that it indeed came and became reality. Now, however, the excuse of COVID-19 and other goals has resulted in more governmental controls. The Bible shows that totalitarian controls, including related uh, to religion and payments, are common in Europe. Well, let's read Revelation 13, 1 and 2. Revelation 13 and verse 1. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with them, with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like leopard, its feet were like, like bears, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it, the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority. This is from Revelation chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. Verse 11. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. Verse 12. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Then in... Uh, this would be, I think, from, yes, uh, from, uh, Second Thessalonians, from chapter, chapter, Second Thessalonians chapter 2. So in verse 13 it says that he performs great signs. That would be, uh, that would, uh, that would be verse 13. And we are still in Revelation chapter 13 as well. And uh, we are learning and interpreting, indeed, various prophetic visions that are written in the Bible. Verse 13, he performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. Verse 15. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship in the image of the beast to be killed. He, he causes all, all both the small and small and great and rich and poor and free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads or and that no one may buy or sell or 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 you know uh, to those people buy or sell and they will not be able to buy or sell ex except the one who has the mark of the name of the beast or the number of its or the number of his name and here is verse 18 chapter 13 verse 18 here is a here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 666 this is from chapter 13 verse 11 through 18 well dear friends castle society is coming up and we need to be getting ready for it and we'll be seeing how it is going to affect our modern living my name is Alexander Sashevedi. This was Bible News Prophecy Program. For more information, please go to www.
BibleNewsProphecy.net. Until next time, goodbye, friends.